Well, a gas company under scrutiny tonight after a deadly gas explosion months ago now faces new allegations. Good evening. I'm Tim Callahan. And I'm Jackie Parks, this time from an entire city. And 23 ABC's Ken Masenshi is live from our newsroom on why the city of Arvin is now going after that company. Ken? Jackie, the city of Arvin paid to repair a pipe that was damaged in June. Now, city council officials say they are seeking reimbursement from the company Big and Deep because they say the company's contractor caused the damage. 700 feet of pipe. That's how much the city of Arvin said it had to replace after Big and Deep damaged it during a dig. Company co owner Colin Alexander admits her company hit a sewer line, but says it wasn't marked on their service alert ticket, so they didn't know it was there. She says she believed that the two sides had come to an understanding sometime during the summer that the company was not at fault. But in November, the company was notified by the city of Arvin that it was responsible for $127,000 in repair costs. That came a few days after a worker for Big and Deep hit a PG&E gas line and caused an explosion that killed a worker and severely burned two women. Those women have since filed lawsuits against both PG&E and Big and Deep. PG&E also filed a restraining order against Big and Deep, stating that the company has repeatedly conducted illegal and unsafe excavations near gas transmission lines. According to the attorney representing both women, one of the women was released from the hospital about two weeks ago. The other woman remains in the hospital and has had at least eight surgeries. As for repair costs in Arvin, Big and Deep says that matter is being handled by their attorney. Live from the newsroom, Ken Masenchi, 23ABC.